The 22nd annual Grumpy Old Men Festival was celebrated Saturday in Wabasha, the namesake of the movies celebrating the on-screen antics of Max Goldman and John Gustafson. <laughs> Over 100 anglers peppered the ice with holes in search of catfish hunter or anything else that might happen to take the bait. Over at the VFW, the bait was being used for something entirely different, high stakes mineral racing. Go, 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 go! The seventh annual Grumpy Plunge was scheduled to be held in the Mississippi River outside of Slipperies. But as you can see, Mother Nature isn't going to cooperate today. Normally this little part of the river remains open, but today, frozen solid. The problem was soon solved with chainsaws and ice chippers as the ice was cleared away and the plunge was on. The atmosphere prior to the plunge was relaxed upstairs at Slipperies. Participants were busy filling out registration forms and preparing for the big plunge. This group of folks came down from the Twin Cities area to take a dip. We are the party penguins, yeah, that's how we're here. We're the party penguins, right. So your get-ups are probably some of the best I've seen today. What uh, possessed you to think of penguins? Um, I just thought of cold weather and penguins like to jump in cold water, so here we are. <laughs> the oldest plunger was Charlie Klein, who celebrated his 75th birthday this week. He was back for his seventh effort in a snappy pink outfit. Uh, a good friend of mine designed this outfit for me, Sue Wolf. She's a cancer survivor. And she dyed the cap, took, pick, took the shirt, did all the writing on it, the whole kit and kaboom. And it's a real stitch. It don't quite exactly fit my personality, but I'll wear it anyway. <laughs> the youngest plunger of the day was Ryan Ramped at age seven. Was it as warm, warmer than you thought it was going to be, or? Kind of colder than last year. One person in the room was getting a lot of attention. Warren Reese from the Mankato area is a dead ringer for Max Goldman. Uh, how long have you been uh, been doing the uh, the Max Goldman routine? Uh, well, I tried to two years after they made the movie, but I drove tanker through town here, stopped at the last restaurant out there, and they. I asked him when they were going to have the grumpy old men lookalikes this year. He says they're not having it, so I forgot all about it. So you have a lot of fun with it then? Just oh, yeah. going But the, the girls that want a picture with me, I tell them, no, i got to have a hug first. <laughs> Proceeds raised by the Grumpy Plunge are shared by Great River Homes in Wabasha and the Wabasha Rotary Club. Great River Homes partners with Rotary Club of Wabasha to conduct the fundraiser, so all the proceeds stay local. Last year we raised $10,000. We had 77 plungers, and so we're hoping for a good turnout, and, and regardless of the amount, we know that it's a success because of the support of the Rotary as well as uh, Great River Homes, and it just adds a lot of fun to the Grumpy Old Men Festival.